uh, today we're going to shoot some pictures, uh, a roll of black and white Kodak film, uh, with this camera. This is a Geva Box, uh, a camera that uh, we borrowed from a friend. And uh, this uh, camera is very interesting. It was made in the 1950s and uh, it's very simple. It's basically uh, just a lens, a box and uh, a shutter. Um, this camera was made in Germany and uh, it has very simple fe features. So for example, this is the shutter and uh, then you have a lens uh, which you can focus here like this. It goes from 1.5 meters to infinity and uh, here on the side you have an aperture button. It goes from aperture 8 to 16 uh, and in between is 11. And then you have only one shutter speed which is, uh, I don't know which speed it is actually. But you can set this one from the M mode, which is basically the shutter opening and closing. And then you have the B mode, where you use your finger to, op to open the shutter. And then when you release, it closes. Now, I haven't found any instructions on YouTube how to use this one. So uh, basically, I'm taking pictures with this one for the first time. Um, Moreover, there, is, there are two viewfinders, one here and one here. So basically you can do landscape mode like this and you look through this, uh, uh, this viewfinder from above. It's basically a waist level viewfinder. So uh, to, to see anything you have to hold it down like this. And this goes for the portrait uh, viewfinder as well which you have to hold like this. Um, so I'm going to load this up with some film. Ah, there's one more feature. You can see here, there's a hole. And this should be probably uh, where you see which, which frame you're on. Uh, it's a six by nine medium format camera. So you're using this 120 film uh, I guess, and uh, this is a uh, Kodak TMX black and white, and um, we're going to open this one up now and try to load some film into it. Okay, so let's try to load some film into this one. Here you have a switch, and I move it like this, and it comes open. Then we open up some film. It's probably a good idea to remove this paper as much as possible because you don't want pieces of paper in the camera. So um, the film should probably go like this. Uh, this probably I don't know exactly but probably it should go on the outside of these metal bars and then let's see the film advances like that so I think I'm going to put it in like this and then this looks okay. It's rolling. Um, then I should probably sh put it back into the camera.
boom. And uh, now you can see, this is very interesting. I'm going to, now it says picture number two here. So basically what you do is you wind the film two until very slowly and carefully you wind up the film and soon then it says Kodak and number three so we're now in the third picture okay so uh, we just crossed the road and uh, now we're in uh, an area called Örgryte which has uh, several very nice and expensive buildings and I found uh, this uh, Weird, uh, weird location here. Uh, there is a door over here, and um, I'm going to try to make a picture here. But as you can see, I need to hold the camera too high up to be able to see anything. So this is just um, a very random shot, uh, and I've set this one to f11, which because it's a little bit dark here, and uh, I think um, I, I'm just gonna. This will be an experiment here. Uh, strangely though, this is a black and white film, so we won't be able to see this very beautiful color over here. So, um, I'm gonna shoot now. Cool. Okay, so I'm going to make uh, a picture of a skyscraper or sort of uh, uh, F-16, because it's very bright. And uh, then uh, you always have this problem with the waist level point, so I have to go like this. I think I have a picture of the tower now. So. Okay, so in this direction there is now a, a dinosaur. A dinosaur and a ferris wheel. And, uh, to make uh, a picture here which uh, shows the dinosaur and uh, the sky and uh, I think uh, I'm going to set this to f8 and uh, it seems to be a very bright bright picture so um, I'm just gonna fire like this Freaktown, and uh, this is the famous uh, sign. This is uh, the Eastern Cemetery, Östra Kyrkogården, and uh, the sign over here says "Tänk på döden," which means "Think about death," or rather, consider death, uh, which is something that you should do. So I'm going to make a picture here now. But first, I'm not so sure about uh, the distance over here, so I'm going to to, to measure it uh, with my legs. I'm guessing this is a little bit more than seven meters, so I can focus to uh, focus to infinity. Uh, now it's on f8, and uh, let's see what happens when I take the picture. This Gevabox camera is uh, really fun. Uh, you have very few options when you're shooting. Uh, basically, you can just adjust the aperture uh, and nothing more. Uh, you will need a tripod uh, because uh, I'm not sure if it's uh, steady enough uh, just shooting freehand. Um, we shot these uh, images with uh, uh, ISO 100 film, so I think that using a faster film than that will probably produce brighter images, maybe overexposing them. Uh, a fun detail is that when you're using a camera like this in the street, uh, many people will come up to you uh, and they will uh, talk about uh, 
the city and they will uh, maybe talk about memories uh, from when they used to have a camera like this. So I definitely recommend that you go and uh, get yourself a camera like this uh, to start out with uh, medium format uh, photography. Thank you.